Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks for coming by. I hope you found my content useful. If you do, please subscribe and check the bell to be notified of new content. Now a few months ago, Adobe released a new beta development tool called Lensburr. Now they have released a fully working version and we will take a look at that. Lens blur is a way to add blur or more blur to the out of focus areas in images. Could this mean you can ignore setting apertures for getting great separation in your images? Well, in my opinion, it should work alongside your settings in your compositions. You'll still need to consider depth of field for your subject. So let's have a look at how it works and try it on a sample image. So I have opened up this image to try and increase the blur of the background elements. The lens blur tool is towards the bottom of your panel list. So we expand that. Before we can edit the elements, we have to first activate the lens blur at its default levels. Once clicking on apply, the blur tool analyzes the image to try and build a depth map where it considers in or out of focus areas. The default blur amount is 50. The default bokeh is a circular lens bokeh of a boost of 50. You can choose other bokeh models to represent various lens geometry. The bar graph labelled focus range displays the results of the analysis and the depth is represented from near to far from the left side to the right side. Notice that this image already has good separation of the subject, the branch and the background vegetation. Above the right side of the focus range are two options to analyse the image. By default the first button is for subject detection by AI and it often works very well. Next to it is a more manual method where you select the area for analysis by clicking or dragging a mouse pointer over the image. You can also edit the depth map by dragging the two ends of the box to apply the blur for more or less blurring in front of the subject as well as behind. At the bottom are tools to further refine the depth map with a brush. Checking the visualized depth box overlays a color mask, white to yellow for in focus areas and purple for black for out of focus areas. You can refine for focus or blur using the brush refinement. You can set the amount of refinement, brush size, feathering and flow. Also, checking the auto mask box attempts to detect hard edges on brush strokes, i.e. hairs. So for now, let's just turn off visualising the depth or using any of the tools and we'll work simply with the blur amount. By default it's set to 50 but we can bump that up for more blurring. To see the effects of that, we can click on the I button to hide and then to show. As you can see, all nicely blurred. The best way to refine in focus and out of focus areas is to view the image at 100%, reviewing all the edges between in focus and out of focus while showing the before and after adjustments. As we can see here, there are some details missing from underneath the bill. Then we need to simply use the brush to paint back in the missing detail. Set the amount a little bit higher, up to around 80. Adjust the size and feather of the cursor that you need. And then set the flow to around 65 or 7. And then start painting back the details. Start your brush strokes from the beginning of the detail i.e. the bird's neck. Checking as you go along. At first use short repetitive strokes to bring out the detail. And here we also have some detail missing from the tip of the bill. Once you are satisfied with your work, just continue with your normal workflow and edit further in Photoshop if you need be.
So in my opinion, the lens blur tool is pretty intuitive and it delivers great results. I had often used the Photoshop blur filters by creating new layers and masking the subject. They work pretty fine, but pushing the blur sometimes can and does introduce banding. I have discerned no banding using Lightroom's blur tool and now it features in my editing workflow quite a bit. So, until next time, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Check the bell for notified of new content. Please leave a comment for feedback or ask a question. And if there's anything you would like me to cover, feel free to make suggestions. So all I need to say now is, cheerio and goodbye soon.